Hey collective, welcome to my channel, Divani True Tarot. I'm your reader, Annetta, and we are going to go into another reading with you and your person that you're in separation with. Um, I wanted to do a back-to-back -back reading or a back-to-back -back video today because the last reading I posted like eight hours ago, it was heavy. It was heavy because uh, your person is, um, they need spiritual help. Because they're in spiritual warfare, but they do have their ancestors and spirit guides and angels fighting on their side. So I just wanted to bring another message to see if we still pick up on that energy or if it's another group or collective that I'm picking up on. But um, I felt as though the reading that was earlier today was a bit heavy, a bit much. So we're just going to pull and see if there's any different messages that's coming out for you, collective. Okay. All right. Collector. Please keep in mind that this reading is general, the energies are fluid, and the message is timeless. Excuse me, I had to go and get something, so I didn't mean to disturb the audio like that. So let's rock. Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, mm. thank you for allowing me to channel messages from the divine through the Tula Tarot for the highest good of the collective. Oh, shit. Heavenly Father. I'm sorry. Oh, God. I didn't mean to cuss. I'm, let's start over. Y'all, pray, pray for me in my mouth. Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing me to channel messages from the divine through the Tula Tarot for the highest good of the collective. Heavenly Father, I pray that you'll send clear, precise messages through my archangels, my spirit guides, and my ancestors of love and light. And Heavenly Father, I pray that you'll protect my energies and the energies of the collective as we open ourselves up to receive these messages. In the mighty name of Jesus, I love you, I praise you, and I thank you. Amen, amen. Shalom, shalom. Uh, excuse me, collective, but when I split the deck, it made me cuss in the middle of my, my prayer. I'm like, oh, I know I got to get better. I will do better. But we have, again, third party is jealous, jealous of you, and then we have bitter as fuck. Same damn energies from the last meeting. So that's why I'm like, ugh. But you know, that's because your person don't want them. Shit. And they look, they look, they go, it's going down this weekend. It's going down in the next three days. Ooh, this is why. Look, collective. Look, Holy Spirit here. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is going down in the next three days. Yo, your, your person and this third party are at each other's throats. Or, or this third party know that your person. Is either playing them, not serious about them, fucking them over. This third party know that your person is still in love with you or something like that. Somebody got a big ass ego. It's making me feel like that third party, but we're, we're going to get out of that energy because I'm tired of talking about them motherfuckers. Ugh, I'm tired of talking about them. My mouth. Mm, okay. Okay. That's right. Holy Spirit. What message do you have for the collective regarding that person that they're in separation with? I'll take that. Thank you. That's the first one. Okay. All right. All right. All right. What else can you tell me? This energy is loose and it's slippery. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's roll, Holy Spirit. I appreciate it. Oh, that, that almost came out. Okay. We take those. Okay. Let's get a couple of more. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. And I do pray for my mouth all the time. I just, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, can we get any, can we get some more? Is there any more, Holy Spirit? This one? Got it. That's right. What's at the bottom of the deck? Same energy here. Now black magic is at the bottom of the deck. This energy is increasing because of this fucking third party. It is what it is. It is what it is. It's, um, your person is under attack because they went to a rebound. You see what I'm saying? It's... So, before I get into that, please pray for your person. I don't know what is going on with them and this third party. Or what is happening is making me feel like your person is pulling away from them. 
But they using fucking black magic on your person. Or your person is under spiritual attack. This at the bottom of the deck now. The last reading, go back to my last reading, YouTube Collective, and you see that this came out. And Most High God came on top of this one. Now it's at the bottom of the deck. This is why I said this energy is increasing. So pray for your person. This is the first one out. Woo, they all in their feelings. Oh, God, your person is grieving you. Your person is grieving you. Yes. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This karmic is getting their karma, too. This is why your person's third party is pissed off. Like I said in the other reading, a third party could be um, a family, friend, coworker, best friend, some old shit like that. But all in their feelings and karma getting their karma, too. Oh, yeah. This is romantic. This is why the third party is pissed off and jealous of you. And I didn't get no jealousy cards yet, but shit, it's the same damn energy. All in their feelings. Also, too, collective, your person was a karmic soulmate to you. And now they're getting their karma, too. This is why they all in their feelings about you. Mm-hmm. Look, yeah, look. Yeah. They worried about if you find out the truth about them because the fucking trust is gone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. You guys not talking. You guys not talking. There's no contact. They not reaching out to you. You not reaching out to them. But they especially is not reaching out to you because they a fucking coward. And they would never truly apologize for the bullshit that they have done. You feel as though they never care. But some of you guys, your person is feeling this way about you. This is why they not reaching out. You could have cut, look, you cut this shit off cold. Woo, 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 woo. This is why your person feels as though you never care because you're not contacting them. And they're not reaching out because they are coward. They are coward about what they're feeling or what they've done or something like that, but you're living rent free in their head. Hmm. You're living rent free in their head, but your person is still not ready. Your person is still not ready because they have no understanding. They have no understanding or no, con no concept of what love is or what love looked like. This is the reason why you guys were in a toxic relationship. You was in a to toxic relationship because they liked the way that they was living. They liked that shit. Uh-huh. This is why you're in a karmic cycle. Toxic relationship and karmic cycle. Look, let me tell you, your person is full of regrets. And this is the reason why you guys are in a karmic cycle because this relationship is toxic and they didn't give a fuck because they like the way they live. So it's making me feel like your person was an emotional bully or a spiritual bully and now they over here angry at themselves and shit because they realize that you are the superstar that you are, okay? And they want to know that they wait too long to come back around to you, okay? But when they come back around to you, they can't say shit. They can't say shit because they fucked up. They fucked up this connection. This is why you spiritually protected. When the spiritual protection come out, it's because love is being protected. Your love is being protected. The love that you have inside of you is being protected because your person fucked it up. They fucked it up because grass wasn't greener listening to other people. <laughs> That's when they realized that you are the prize. Damn. Dude, they know. They know they lost a good one. Look at <laughs> they know you the superstar that you are and they know you the prize. This is why they angry at themselves. They angry at themselves because they started this karmic cycle with you. Shit. They know they fucked up listening to others and shit. Uh huh. Grass wasn't green. Uh huh. So this third, that's why. I'm, I'm going to leave it right there. I wanted to say something, but it was not. It was, yeah, that's why I got to wash my mouth. But, you know whatever they slept on this connection this is the reason why you cut that ass off now they're getting the message in the music about how fucked up they are or the reasons why they got cut off i'm, I'm mm. yeah 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 this right here is a it's really affecting yeah playing too many mind games you see what i mean they getting messages in the music about the mind games and the bullshit that they have done in this connection to get their ass caught up, cut off. They could be crying. They could be crying when they be listening to shit. Yep, yep, painful ending. Yeah, your person that, yeah, what's this? Shit, wanting a second chance, painful ending. Damn, they, look, they beg, look. 
their soul is begging, especially when they listen to certain music. It's making me feel like 70s, 80s R&B, because that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing like um, Earth, Wind, and Fire. <laughs> I'm gonna hear all their songs, so I can't hone in on the song that, but I know that vibration. That's Earth, Wind, and Fire right there. Ice Be Brothers and shit. <laughs> Sade in here. Go ahead with yourself. Oh my God! When they hear Sade, they can't help but cry. <laughs> because of this painful ending. Yeah, Sade will bring it to you. Sade will tell you exactly how you fucked up. Love. Hmm. It is replaying and playing over your over over and over in your person's head because that, they want relief from that. I mean, you know, you live in rent free in their head and they want a peace of mind. They can't stop thinking about what the fuck they've done. They 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 can't stop. Some of you guys have your person blocked, they want you to unblock them. And they know they should have trusted you. But your person also too know that it's a no for you because of the trust issues that you two have. So they know that you ain't fucking with it because the trust is gone. And now they're chasing the connection. They chasing the connection because your person was cold hearted. This is how they fucked around and lost you. This is the reason why you gave them back to the streets. The reason why you fucking walked away. And now they all mad and shit because they got caught. Won't they lick back and shit. Okay, but again, baby, you are protected. Holy Spirit protected. Yes, you are. You got the whole host of heaven protecting you from this one. Protecting your love, like I said. Your love is protected. Beautiful. I love it. Okay. That's wow. Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about all in their feelings? They all in their feelings because there's no contact. I mean, they really want to talk to you. They wishing they could talk to you or wishing that you would reach out to them. Mm -mm. All in their feelings this year. This shit went down this year. Yeah, now they feeling the effects of the loss of you this year. Yeah. So it's making me feel like for some of you guys, you could have been broken up with your person for over a year, but it's really hitting them this year. This is for some of you guys, okay? What else can you tell me about all in their feelings? Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Let's hit it on the table, Holy Spirit. I don't want to get no more off the floor. Oh, they said I'm reading off the floor anyway. Damn, checkmate. Checkmate got them. Checkmate got them. Some of them is having family issues. So this is why they're all in their feelings as well. So if you had a family with your person, they really feel in the effects of what they have done against this connection here. Yes. We have too young. Somebody could have been too young-minded. Yeah, now they scared and shit, stressed and pressured. You see what I mean? Because they lost it. Damn it. Losing everything. Yeah. Car Look, let me tell you. Their person became a karmic, a karmic soulmate. They getting their karmic too. This is the reason why. And it's coming through family issues here. Especially if they're a fucking Scorpio. Yep. This karma will not stop. This karma for the Scorpio, or if you're a Scorpio, your person, that karma will not stop. Until they done paid that debt. And they will not stop because they will never truly apologize. Not energetically, emotionally, or even verbally. Okay? Especially if they're Gemini too. So somebody could have a Scorpio sun, Gemini moon. Or they could have a Gemini sun, Scorpio moon. Yep. And they want their forgiveness. They want their forgiveness. It's a big fat ass yes. Yes. Mm hmm But they're a coward. They would never apologize. So they, they don't have accountability. They don't take accountability for shit. And excuse me, I don't mean to call out my Scorpios, but that's y'all ass. That that's the energy of a Scorpio. Y'all don't. It's hard for y'all to take accountability. That's why y'all cut shit off. That death energy, just fuck it. But you know, that's 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 what I see. But I love my Scorpios. I'm married to one, so please forgive me. But that's what the fuck y'all do. So. Especially if you have a Scorpio moon. Y'all cold with it. Y'all will cut off that energy. Y'all will cut off them feelings because you don't want to fuck with it. Because you don't want to deal with it. Because you don't want to face it. So y'all just say fuck it. Okay. Let me get off of y'all. I'm sorry. I mean, I, 
I love you. <laughs> I love you, Scorpios. I do. Okay, what can you tell me about worried that you will find out the truth? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, God, I'm not saying that. That's why. <laughs> And I said, look, worry about you find out the truth and the trust is gone. Oh, yeah, these are secrets right here, baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard secret society. Okay, so secret friend group, some old shit. Something they kept secret with friends. Trust is gone. That's why. Okay, that's a message. That's, that's weird. Uh-huh. Can't get right and shit. What can you tell me about worry about you find out the truth? Yeah, they worry. Mm. This is why you living in red free in their head. No accountability. Then lie to the end. Let's go. Thank you. You have Cappies here. Mm. Capricorn, you know, came up in here. I don't. Mm. We have death and the devil. Scorpio Capricorn energy side by side. What's up with that? I don't know. I'm not getting it, but I don't I don't like them two together. Okay, so what else can you tell me about worry about <laughs> okay? Wondering. Well, yeah, they wondering if you're gonna find out the truth. This is a secret they take to their grave. Big fat ass yes. They they this you didn't find out. They wish you didn't find out. Damn, this is why they ghosted. I'm telling you, especially if they're Scorpio running ass. Cut off. This is, ooh, some of you guys ghosted and cut this person off because you found out the truth about them. Damn it, karmic cycle. Mm-hmm, yep. Now you left your person wondering, or you was wondering about the truth and then you found that shit out. Big fat ass y'all. Bah. Big fat ass, yes. Your intuition was correct is what I heard. And then you found, look, we got both yes cards back to back. We got both yes cards back to back when I'm talking about this Capricorn, this Scorpio. Shit, we seen Gemini. Uh huh. Somebody wish. I wish. I wish I didn't get caught. Uh huh. Some of them, some some of you guys, your person ghosted you before the truth came out. Okay, because they know that the trust was gone. Uh huh. This is how come they'll never apologize. Like I said, accountability is not here at all. This is a fucking runner. Damn it. Coward ass. They yellow as hell. This is why they went no contact. This is why they ghosted. Because what the fuck can they say? The truth done came out. So instead of owning up to the truth or facing shit, facing the music, as we seen message in the music, they just said, fuck it. Pew, gone. Hmm. What can you tell me about trust is gone? Holy Spirit. Wow. Because of another woman. Because of another feminine energy. I told you that fucking third party. Got your person under illusion here. Mm -hmm. Damn it, other people. Another woman, other people. This is multiple. This is why the trust is gone with your person. Because they weren't fucking with just one other feminine energy. It was multiple. Yep. Mm-hmm. Your person all mad and shit because you fucking got, you gone. I mean, it's like, like I said, they wish they never got caught. You gone. Get up. Out of there. Fucking no more. Damn. You quit on the job. <laughs> you quit this shit. Look, you out. It, you, nope. nope. Hell, spirit talking. So what I'm saying is the truth. You got double yes. So, you know, and this is for the majority of the collection of the collectives that I'm picking up on. This is why you like, uh-uh. It was it, you done found out everything. They was worried about you finding out the truth. They wish they didn't that you didn't find out the truth. But this is why you went no car, no contact. They couldn't even own up to the shit. They they're a fucking liar. I don't. They can get on my nerve. This lying ass energy is always around, especially when you're in separation because somebody is not being truthful to themselves or truthful to you. But I mean, that's what happens. That's what's here. Hmm. What can you tell me about no contact? This is why they're losing everything. This is why. Your person is in the process of losing everything. 
talking shit. Do you boo? Don't do this. Who can you tell me about losing everything? Okay, this one want to stick out. Aries. Emperor energy. Somebody could be an Aries. What else can you tell me? Thank you. Hoping, wishing, and praying that they... Mm. I told you they was hoping, wishing, and praying that you'll contact them. Because your person is losing everything because they're under illusion or a black, black magic spell. Here. This black magic is thick. Um, it's, it's here. It's here. This is why your person is a coward. Because they're running from the truth of self. Yeah. They know exactly what they did to you in this connection here. But they will never own up to it because they will never truly apologize because they run from the truth. See what I mean? Worried that you find out the truth. This is why they'll never truly apologize. So, you dealing with a habitual liar? Somebody that a lot of God hit to his face? Talking about, uh-uh. No, I did it. No, I did it. And you talking to the most high? Knock it off. Let's, let's go. Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about coward ass? And then I want to go back to this other woman because mm, wasting time. They know they wasted your time. Are you wasting time dealing with this coward? Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, not playing with them. Look, they trying to run from it, but you can't run. We have will in here. Mm. Out of time. Shit. I said this in another reading. I'm going to say it again. Holy Spirit, karma has a green light on your person. Yeah. They running from it. This is why they never own up to it. With this wasting time and out of time, it's a wrap. They wasted too much time. Now they out of time. This is why Holy Spirit is on their ass. Okay? And with this willing, this is why I say they got a green light. Hmm. So you guys need to move away from your person because there's no way out of this because they lost. The loss will be too much. Some of them could lose family. It's too much. And with losses of family, I'm, I'm getting, you know, the death energy, but also, too, family's just not fucking with them no more. That's what I mean by loss of family. That's the energy that I'm mainly getting. I'm not getting, like, a death energy, like they're going to pass away or anything. But, no, their time is up. It's like family don't even want to fuck with your person no more. Because they're operating in this energy. And they're operating in this energy because of this. You live in rip free in their head. They don't want to apologize for the bullshit that they done to you in this connection. Somebody want to save face living avatars and shit. Mm -hmm. Ain't no way out of this. They gonna have a come to Jesus moment very soon. How soon is soon? <laughs> Ain't that the great question? Who knows? What can you tell me about they never truly cared? We have an Aquarius that you need to keep going, keep moving forward because your person will never truly ap apologize. Now, I, I asked um, for they never truly cared. Okay, okay, I skipped ahead. So let's get it over there. Yeah, okay, so keep going because your person never really cared about the connection. I'm sorry. Um, collector. They pretend like a motherfucker. That's why I say they don't, they, they showing up in the avatar of self. But some of you guys, you know, this is how you felt. This is the reason why you had to keep it moving because you, you felt like your person never cared. Yeah. This is the reason why you said, do you, boo? Because you never your person never showed you how much they really care for you or this connection. They wasn't affectionate to the capacity that you needed in order to be comfortable, comfortable or um, secure in this relationship. Mm -mm. Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about they never will truly apologize. What can you say about that? Mm. Did this come out? I guess too much came out. Let's let's see. Yeah, it's too much. It's too much for them to handle. 
you know, owning up to what they have done against the connection. This is why I say they're a coward. Yeah. Some of you guys are, are wondering why. Why they just won't own up to their shit? What can you tell me about... Uh, what's, what else can you tell me about they would never truly apologize? I heard some of you guys, your person is playing dumb. Mm-hmm. They playing dumb to what they have done. Yeah. And they want to apologize because they know it won't work. Whatever apology they scrounge you up, they know that shit won't work on them. And here we have jealousy. What can you tell me about jealousy? Oh, losses. So it's making me feel like, yeah, all is well. I was about to say that. It's making me feel like with this jealousy and losses that your person is going through all of this, losing everything, losing time, losing you, all of this shit, and they jealous of the fact that you're not, you're not going through the same shit. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. With this all is well and get out, yeah. When you left the connection, you kept it moving. You didn't lose. Losing your person, you didn't lose. It's making me feel like your person wanted you to lose because you didn't have them or they lost you or some old shit like that. So they wanted to see some type of downfall for you because y'all not together with this black magic and wanting they lick back and shit. Mad because they got caught and shit because you walked away from them and shit. You see what I'm saying? They sitting over here. Look, you gave them back to the streets. Yeah, you gave them back to the streets. And now they in deep regrets because they ass was cold hearted. Still lying to your face and shit. I hope you can see him. I know when I be reading, I be, I be, <laughs> the rhythm be a little bit faster than when my reflexes do, but y'all, mm, y'all get my, my gist. Ah, look at them. Look at them. All in desperation and shit. Now they desperate. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Now they desperate. They, they pissed. They pissed. They low key pissed. This is why you living rent free in the head. They not letting you know this shit. They never cut that near. They like, yeah. And the reason why I say they know they low key piss is because they want they lick back. They want they lick back because of all this heavy, heavy bad karma. They feel as though you should share in their karma too. Shit, if they gotta go through bullshit. Why? Why you not going through bullshit? No, because all is well with you. No, damn well, they done did all this shit. And they want you to, you know how they say misery loves company? This is what it is. They mad at you because they catching they bullshit and you're not. And they feel as though the absence of them will give you or will put you in a place to where you're, you, 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 you're, you're in lower vibration, in lower vibrations or that your world will crumble or some old shit like that because they not around. Come to find out you doing well. Damn it. Everything. All is well. Not just some of it. All. They don't like that. Mm-mm. Huh. Well, this is the reason why you living rent free in the head. What can you tell about that? Holy Spirit. What can you tell me about living rent free in their head? Mm-hmm. Woo, didn't I tell you? How did I know this motherfucker was going to show up? Fucking baby mama. Okay, now, if you are if you have children with your person, I'm not talking about you. But this is feeling like outside energy. The side now, pissed off. Okay, here we go. You're living rent-free in their head because they're in deep regrets. Because you separated from the connection. And now they're receiving bad karma. That is too late for them to recover from. This is why you have no worries about your your person. They never thought that they would go through this. What is this never? What is this never? That's outside. Never what? Oh, your person thought that you guys would never separate, even though they was doing all this bullshit here. They never thought that you guys would separate. This is why they are in deep regrets, and they only in deep regrets because, damn, they going through bad karma. If they wasn't going through bad karma, they'd still be operating that bullshit. You're in a divine union. I say it all the time. And it, it comes out. It do. But we seen in the pre-read two spiritually protected cards. Let me go back. This is why... And I, and I meant to say it when I seen it twice, but I was 
I was I was channeling, but spiritually protected. And then we have you are the prize. And then we have superstar, that's who you are. And then we have the grass wasn't greener. This is why I'm saying you are in divine union. This is why they're angry at yourself, but you're in a karmic cycle with your old person. Okay? Yeah, and then I seen another, yeah, this is this relationship turned toxic. But I did see another spiritually protected card. Oh, yeah, right here. You are protected. So we seen two protection cards and um, the the other things that your person is going through, like, you know, they mad at you and all that shit. Painful ending and shit like that. But it's because you're in a divine union. A divine union that has stopped. This divine union has stopped on this journey. It could be because of friends. We did see listening to others. Let's go on back in it. Look, oh shit, they chose a third party over you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The third party said nope. <laughs> this is why they should have trusted you. <laughs> Look, I mean, hmm. Yeah, they should have trusted you, but they step on this connection. Yeah, they know they fucked up. Mm-hmm. And they can't say shit about why. Mm -hmm. They just want to know that they wait too long to come back. Mm -hmm. But this is actually fucked up with this third party because the grass wasn't green. This is the reason why Holy Spirit dealing with that ass. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, yeah. But this is why you're all in their head. Okay? This is why they're in deep regrets about this divine union. Thank you for the confirmation. This is why they're in deep regrets about this divine union. Because this bad karma will not stop. It will not stop. Because of the, 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 the disrespect of love. Shit, they willingly did that shit. And, and this is what they get. Why, why did they do that? That's some dumb ass shit right here to me. Let me let's see. Why? Why did they do that? Why did they... Holy Spirit, why did the collector's person disrespect the connection? That's just that's why did the collector's person disrespect love? Let's get it. Can you kick it out for me? Uh -huh, let's it yes. Okay, thank you. We have reflection. Something that is making me feel like with this being out here, they didn't have no understanding with reflection. It's like they thought that, that that this is the way that a relationship's supposed to be. Like this is how their relationships always went, or this is what they have done in their relationships, and they never seen nothing wrong with it. Yeah. This this is how look, this is how mommy and daddy did it, or grandpa and, and mama did it. Like it was like for some of them, they could have seen that Paul Paul was always cheating on mama or always abusive or not really there or something they just thought that that's what how relationships supposed to be especially with all in your feelings right here they they they, they didn't know via yeah, ego ego they thought that this is the way that it was supposed to be they ain't that right yeah they was operating out of their egotistical mindset or views because they always seen Paul Paul and Grandma operate this so they thought that that's how relationships supposed to be something of the sort whatever they done in this connection they, they thought that that's what that's the way that relationships or that's how relationships go or that's what makes a, a them being the man or the woman of the relationship oh some old shit like that it's, it's wonky here why else did they do that? Shit. Okay. We have chemistry. It was off balance. And it could be because the reason why they started doing this thing is because they were hooking up. They was hooking up to other people, yeah, with dishonesty and soul contract. You see what I'm saying? They were hooking up with other energies that they felt as though they had the right to or that's the way it go or they seen daddy and or grandpa do it so they felt as though they yeah this feels old this feels like somebody who's has who has an old mindset this is an older energy they, they, look 
Damn it. Paul, Paul, Uncle and them did it that way, so I'm going to do it too. Damn. And it's all because of ego. It's making me feel like your person grew up with a bunch of men, masculine energy, that wasn't really on the up and up when it comes to relationships, okay? So their uncle could have been a pimp or a player or their daddy a pimp or a player or some old shit like that, always having extra outside connections and women or men or whatever the fuck, but they, they learned that disloyalty through family or people that they grew up with or looked up to. Yeah, like this is the way, the it's like, when they, yeah, yeah, ego and chemistry. It's like they were supposed to be this way. Dishonest and shit. Now they reflecting on that shit. Uh-huh. That's why they all in their feelings. Because there's bad karma that won't stop. Because they was in a divine union. Now, this this the person, they the other people that they looked up to as to what a relationship's supposed to look like, they wasn't in a divine union. Or if they were, it was a karmic divine union. So the bullshit that they have saw, I heard growing up or saw what other people were going through, they thought that was normal. That's why I say they're not that bright. Like, that's the way it's supposed to be or some old shit like that. Look, shadow side. See what I mean? They was operating out of their shadow energies because they didn't know. They they thought it, They thought that's the way it's supposed to be. We are broken, gosh, and sides. Broken values? Yep, yep, yep. Broken look, broken val look, broken gossiping values. This is like listening to old uncles and shit about how to do your women or li listening to old aunties and shit about how to do your man or what a, what a relationship supposed to look like or what it's supposed to be. The, the, the opinions of the motherfuckers that's in broken relationships, they took that as gospel truth. That's how the way they supposed to show up. Ah, I'm trying to get it out. I, I hope the I hope the message I hope you got it because that's I, I don't have the words because I don't, I don't this energy fuck that. They, they, that's why I say they not that bright. What can you tell me about this other woman, Holy Spirit? Why did the collector's person involve this other feminine energy? It could be shit, romantic mother, sister, some old shit because they're broken. Some of them grew up in a broken home. Yeah, broken hope time. Yeah, some of them grew up in a broken home. With this other woman and broken, it's making me feel like this is a mother figure. That's why I called it out. You know, they, they shit. Or they could have gotten their heart broken by another feminine energy. This is why they act the way they do. You know, like, I ain't gonna never have my heart broken again. Or I'm not gonna never be vulnerable to nobody else again or some old shit like that because they couldn't get over the things that had happened to them or the things that had went through when it comes to love so they showed up in a connection with you collective broken this is why they did that shit especially because of another feminine energy what else can you tell me about this fem feminine energy this feminine energy is broken as well so they they not on the up and up they what, what else can you tell me they that's some weird old ass shit. Absence. I heard an absent mother. Okay. Okay. This is why, yeah, unworthy. Yeah, this is why your per I told the escape. Yeah, yeah. This is why your person act did the things that they did because their mother, their maternal figure wasn't there. Or if they were, they were toxic. Okay. And that's why I was saying they grew up looking at or seeing how people operate, especially when it comes to relationships and love. That they thought that that's what that's the way that it is and now it's coming from a feminine energy so it's making me feel like okay say if your person is a male they grew up with their mother or they were with their mother or grandmother whoever the fuck raised them and they didn't get the best example of what a woman should be or what a woman looks like or how a woman should act or operate in this life especially through love you know it's I'm, this is what they showing me they showing me like um, their mother could have been on drugs. Thank you for the confirmation. They could have been on drugs. They could have been an absentee mother. You know, drop them off at grandma's house and don't see them for weeks and shit like that. This is why they felt unworthy. 
This is why they said that they, this is why your person, they're not going to go through this no more. It's like self-protection is here now. But this is why they showed up in the connection that they did with you. Because they're broken. And it's because of a feminine energy that broke them. That that actually didn't, that wasn't the best example of what a woman looks like or what a woman should be. You know, they could have a, a narcissistic mother, a toxic mother, an abusive mother, or grandmother, or sister, or whatever the if it's shit, daddy, that's operating in feminine energy, but that feminine energy had an effect on your person. It's the reason why they did all this shit when it came to you and your connection, because they didn't know. Under the illusions. Now it's feeling like spirit, uh, um, generational. Spiritual, generational, yeah. Hmm. Collective, let's see. What advice do you have? Because this one, I should have got some advice for the last video, but what advice do you have for the collective, Holy Spirit, when it comes to them and a person in this energy? What advice do you have? Thank you. Appreciate it. We have do all call Dharma unfolding. It says, remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time. It is a process. Healing is a process. Getting through what you got to go through is a process. Beautiful. What else can you tell me? What other advice do you have, Holy Spirit? Thank you. We have Lord Shava. We have Transcendent. Rise up. Honor your inner force. Steps are being given. Dance with the universe. That is a process when it comes to healing and elevating. Okay, so dance with the universe, baby. But shit, don't beat yourself up because you're not there yet. It's a step-by-step -step process every day for the rest of your life. You'll never get there until you get there. And this damn show ain't in, in this 3D dimension nah so like i said for the every day for the rest of your life it's a process let's get one more okay <laughs> they said let's get one more <laughs> okay let's go kick it thank you i appreciate it we have krishna devotion it says trust your spiritual guidance your commitment has been recognized you are loved unconditionally. I told you it's a step-by-step -step process. Dance with the universe. Your dance with the universe is being recognized. If you own that vibration, that higher level of commitment, or how should I say, that higher level of self. Okay, commitment to self. I heard you, babe. Life force, commitment to self. Here we go. Express your driven passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increasing. Ooh. Oh, I said, okay, I heard go back, go after your passions and desires in life. This is what give you ultimate fulfillment. Okay. Okay. Yep. The great escape. <laughs> Look, escape and runner. Look, <laughs> destiny. I can't make it up. <laughs> it is a step-by-step -step process. Okay. So run from the bullshit that you're facing because you're elevating. Chase after your dreams, your passions, and your desires. And run away from the bullshit that's holding you back from your destiny. Oh, yeah. All right, collective. Hi. I like this reading. It was, it was, it was, it was really um, intense and interesting. But we have it. So these are the messages that I have for you. So if any of these messages resonated, collective, please drop a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.